Hello guys and happy Tuesday and this is a very very exciting time for me because look at this I just defeated the last Tyrannokairi I will need to create her and it looks so amazing this is so I, my first apex <clears throat> so this guy I have been working on since uh, let me go check Okay, well, since the 6th of September, I missed one week, but that is completely fine. It's just one week. And what's even we well, what's even kind of cooler is that it is actually just two days after Christmas. So it's kind of like Jurassic World Live is giving me a late Christmas gift. So this is really cool. Look at her beauty. I mean, we haven't created her yet, but this is so, so, so cool. Okay, we're gonna do it. My first apex. Look at that. That is so cool. So, of course, it is only on level 16, 26, which is actually my first 26. I do have an ender after on level 24, but that could be leveled up, but I just do not have enough coins. As you can see, not very good at keeping coins. So let's see, we've got definite strike, a uh, target opponent with most positive effects, remove cloak, dodge, taunt, and shields, attack, uh, yeah, the lowest attack, I'm not listing off all the numbers, bypass armor, dispersed racing, ra raking impact, impact, why can't I talk today, dispersed raking impact, uh, self cleanse, Target all opponents, remove cloak, and dodge, attack, um, whatever, that much. <laughs> Has a cool cooldown of two. Merciless alert. Uh, secure is self over, uh, 100, 1,700 HP. Um, and target lowest, uh, HP, attack, <clears throat> yeah, just attack as an impact strike. Bypassing armor damage over time, 50% of targets max HP for 3 turns. That has a cooldown of 1. If you're threatened, uh, self HP, uh, yeah, what the 1,700 or less target lowest HP uh, attack as a strike. Yeah, I think, yeah, strike. Bypassing armor damage over time, 30% of targets max HP. Uh, for three turns and automatic swap and it has a cooldown of one because you would have an automatic swap So I mean what is the point? Oh alert squall secure self HP over uh, someone 1700 self increases speed 50% and critical chance a hundred percent for four attacks uh, two turns cleanse target lowest HP on max swap does that mean it swaps out your opponent? That's interesting. Could could be um, a very interesting uh, attack. It could either be bad or good because they could have something that has a swap in, you know. Um, if you're threatened uh, with self HP 1,700 7, or less, self increase speed 50%, 4 attacks, 2 turns, heal. Um, 100, one, 1,550 cleanse, target lowest HP, automatic swap, and they both have a cooldown of 3. Cell, uh, ferocious strike, um, is a swap in. Self increase damage 50% for 6, uh, attacks and 3 turns. Target lowest HP, attack as a strike. So this is, it's counter attack, robbing wing, self increase speed. 20% um, 2 attacks 1 turn 50% shield for 1 attack 1 turn uh, target highest HP reduced damage 20% 2 attacks 1 turn remove shields and then total immunity on escape so self 100% chance to dodge 60% of damage 1 attack 1 turn 75% per, 
5% shield for one turn, one attack. And then it's got some really nice resistances. Um, 75% uh, resistant to stun. 100% swap prevention resistance. Um, reduced damage is... It reduces... It is resistant to reduce damage by uh, 75%, and damage over time it is immune to, and so is speed decrease. So that's a really cool one. Of course, you can get it on Tuesday. Wow. I can't believe it. Like, it's so cool. Look at this. She's pretty weird looking. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Probably the most boring apex, in my opinion. It, like, all the others have, like, really cool effects. Like, they've got effects, like, glowing or something. But this one just... I don't know. It's just boring. I don't know. It's got... It's a little bit glossy. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and add her to our battle team. I think I'm gonna swap out, swap out Puka Day. And that's awesome. Let's try her out in a battle. There's one right here. Oh, wow, this is a big one. This should be a nice one to try out on. So we'll go ahead and do that. And try her out first, I think. That should be safe if we try her out first, because... Oh, should we try the swap in, you know? Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the swap in. Hopefully, whatever we are up against, yeah, that doesn't have a swap out. Oh, also, I'm sorry I didn't catch the... Uh, the ending I wanted, like, to, of the raid, mm -hmm. I did want to, um, like, I wanted to have a video of me opening my last incubator before creating her, but, uh, I'll, I'll put up the video. It, it's literally Jurassic World Live just pooped its pants and decided it's done. <laughs> I turned on the screen recorder and it just completely, like, blacked up the screen and did something really weird, so I'm, I don't know. Um, this, you know, this is actually really a good one. I mean, we're only up against level 13, so wait till we get towards, like, better, higher levels. You know, we're at the end of the battle. Yeah, and you're gonna dig in. That's not, well, okay, I guess this doesn't go through shields, so I guess I did kind of just waste a move, but it does have damage over time. I'm also interested to see the alert squall, what that does. Ooh, that actually... Yeah, robbing wing. This, the robbing wing, that's kind of OP. It gives you a shield and increases your speed. Yeah, you're done. Tyranokairi, you had... You... Oh, dear, you had no chance up against this Tyranokairi. Now, I wonder... I don't think, I don't really see people using Tyranokairis in raids, but are they good for, like, other boss raids? Like, because now that I have one Apex, will I be able to get more Apexes? I don't, I don't really know. I, I mean, I don't think it will be very good up against the Mortimrax, you know, because of, like, it doesn't have, I mean, it has a shield, and that's not really useful because all the Mortimrax does is, um... It just, uh, has bypass shield and armor and stuff, so I don't think it would be very good, but, like, what about the Refinantum? I have actually won the Refinantum once, and I never was able to do it again, so I wonder if it would be good for that one. You know, I'll have to just try it, experiment with it, I don't know. It might be good, it might be bad, I don't know. Direwolf. This is one of their new ones. They didn't act, did they? I don't think they actually like released. They were uh, actually gonna add it to the game, but that's kind of cool that they did. Oh yeah, Forest Taco. Those are really good to uh, experiment with this one or this one. I mean, they both do it because it gets rid of its dodge. Because I know it's gonna go for the dodge because it can't use its raking claws yet. We'll do this one just because we haven't done it yet. And I think it also cleanses. There's no reason to cleanse. I just want to see what it does. Like the animations, you know. Okay. 
So it's got the same animations as the uh, just other pterosaurs. I'm mostly just doing this for the coins. I need I need all this coins. It's like you have to do ten battles, so it's gonna give you lots of coins. Okay, so we're getting higher levels now, so maybe this should be a little more challenging. Oh yeah, I also forgot, I do have an achievement to collect, and I did not collect it. Argentavis. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. Why did I just say that? Eh, they're gonna dodge. You know, I should have brought out the Tyrannic Kyrie first, because it can go through dodge. Well, or should I say it gets rid of dodge. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and swap to the Tyrannicairi. I mean, it's swapping, won't go through the dodge, but at least I'm swapping it in. It does some damage. It'd be cool if they, like, made, like, robbing wings just, like, kind of, um... Makes me think, it would be cool if, like, I play another game that, um, uh, um, the same company makes, makes Jurassic World Alive. It's called Dragon's Titans Uprising. And, um, <clears throat> it, um, it's got this, uh, effect that you can actually steal the other, your opponent's positive effects. So, I, it would be cool if they added that to Jurassic World Alive. I mean, it's kind of OP, but that would be kind of cool if they actually added that. Why can't I think of the, the name of the people that make Jurassic World Alive? What is it? Is it Ludia or something? Yeah, I think, I think that's right. Yeah, they make two games that I play, uh, Dress World Alive, Titans Uprising, Dragons. It's a good game. I would recommend getting it. I just got Toothless, so... It's actually a lot more easier to get Meek Dragons and Titans Uprising than it is to get Dinosaurs and, um, Dress World Alive. Because I've only been playing for about, what, three months, and I already have Toothless. Why is it this? Is this the exact same? I guess it's not. I thought it was the same as that creatures that we did a few battles ago, but I guess it's not. Mm, I, don't, I don't remember if there was an Argentavis or not. Of course there was. I swear I did not see Argentavis on there. Well, Tyrannokairi it is. Come on, give it, give all you got to the Tyrannokairi, because it's, you're not going to defeat it. That actually, did, it has armor? I did not know that. I didn't actually not know that Tyrannokairi had armor. I mean, I would think it would, but I swear the boss doesn't have armor. I guess it could be different, but it's just interesting. Hmm, how am I gonna dig in? Yeah. They always go for dig in. Okay, now we're getting to higher levels. I really want to try out my alert squall, so I know, really want to know what it does. I mean, I said I would use it, but I'm just kind of, like, kind of, just want to burst through these battles. Now, this, the howl effect, I really like it. The uh, move, I mean. The howl move, it looks really cool. It's a really cool addition to the game. It, like, summons all the dire wolves in the area. It's really cool. I just, <laughs> I don't know. I just like it. Ooh, disarming. Sorry. Is it going to go all white? Yeah, it, Jurassic World Alive has been having these weird texture problems. Like, it, when the update first came out with the, you know, reducing, um, 
armor and increasing armor, the effects looked really nice. But l lately, like a few days ago, it started like, um, what, like it, the texture wasn't loading right or something? I don't know. It's doing really weird stuff and like, it's just a white shadow if you use your increase armor and decrease armor just gives you splotches of white like shadows all over you and it's just really weird okay i'm gonna use this i just want to know what it does i mean I, i'm sure it does exactly what it says but that's very interesting like if you're if you don't oh and it does the immunity on escape i forgot about that so it literally like activates your on escape so your your opponents are forced to swap out that's actually kind of OP, I guess. I don't know. Why does it say total immunity on escape? It doesn't give you total immunity. I mean, the only downside to the uh, sw automatic swapping your opponent is that if they do have a swap in that goes through, you know, dodge or your shield. It is sort of a bad thing for you, but other than that, it's actually pretty OP. Yeah, I think we'll go with Merciless Alert. Don't hit me in the face. Should we swap them out? No, I think we'll just go ahead and go for the kill. You know, it's not doing it now, but during the raid and uh, yesterday, it was, again with the like texture problem, it was just completely like the, the dinosaurs and the, well, the creatures when you killed them, it just, they disappeared. Like it doesn't do the animation at all. It just, when they went zero, HP, it's just, they're gone. <laughs> they completely disappeared. It's just really weird. I, I don't know what's going on with the game. They're having texture issues or something. Okay, let's get this. We're so close to the end. Another incubator. You know, I haven't been playing this week because it's, you know, been Christmas and stuff. I saw that some people in my alliance had, um, this, uh, I guess it's just this one person, had this really cool Christmas badge, and I, I have not seen that. I never saw that in the events, or I would have played. I mean, I have played every day, but I haven't really done the strike events and stuff every day. But I really like that badge, and wish I'd paid more attention. I don't know if that's from last year or if that's this year's thing. Okay, now we're getting into the the harder ones. I mean, it's not really that hard, but, you know, we've got the, the snow leopard and stuff. So, that will be interesting. It's really interesting that they, uh, I swear that said level 20. I swear it said that the Panthera thing was level 20. Yeah, of course it's gonna use this. That's why I use my Disperse Striking Impact on you. Because it gets rid of dodge. That's why. I bet you didn't know Tyranokairi also sings. Probably didn't know that at all. I don't know. Seriously, I hate the precise double strike or the triple strike. It's really annoying because, I mean, it's good for defeating flocks, but it's really annoying because it attacks three times or two times and it's unnecessary. I mean, I guess it is if, like I said, flocks and things, but when will this heal me? Okay, so it has to take a little bit more damage. They all, what, do they ever change what this 
Oh, this deer does. It always does dig in first. It's so predictable. Because they always do it. Okay, do some more damage on me. So I can use my... My, uh, heal. I want to heal. I mean, it's just going to kill me, but... Oh, well, I guess I'm just going to kill it. Okay, now I can use my heal. And I don't know what it... That'd be an interesting thing to do. Another deer? So many deers. And dig in. This one has dig in too? So all these deers do is dig in? Stop digging in. I'm gonna swap. Well, I guess I can't swap you out because uh, you're the last one. But I'm gonna refrigerate, and then you don't. Well, normally you would swap out. I'm gonna say refrigerate yet. Um. So funny story. Uh, when uh, I'm uh, doing a raid and they regenerate health, it looks like refrigerate just out of the corner of my eye. I swear it said refrigerate. So now I just call it refrigerate. I'm sorry, you guys have to hear that. That is <laughs> pretty weird. You know, but I'm just weird, and that's just something you'll have to deal with if you watch my videos. Okay, one more battle, and I think that should be good. Oh, I did get it, finally. I was just talking about that. If I had waited one more battle, I would know. Well, it's time too late for that, because, uh... Yeah, it's, uh after Christmas, but I'm gonna, I'm still gonna change it anyway and wait till New Year's and then I'm gonna change it back to my normal. I mean, really, what is my normal? I don't really have a normal. Ooh, the new unique. It looks so weird. <laughs> its back is, like, so big and its head is so tiny. What is with it? It looks so weird. Ooh, critical. But I'm immune to damage over time. You can't even try. Hmm. What can it do? It's prob it might go for... Uh, it's got so many priorities. I guess I'll just do this. In case it goes for dodge, but it didn't. Instant shattering strike. Now I can heal, at least. Yeah, this is kind of more like what I have to deal with in my arena. You know, the Tyranic Kyrie's good, but it's not really as good as some things. <sighs> well, hmm. Probably gonna, yeah, we're gonna swap him out. Yeah, this is getting more challenging. Activate my total immunity and the turtle. Ooh, it's not using its dig and taunt. That always it always uses its dig and taunt. <laughs> Don't even try, you're gonna die to damage over time anyway. <laughs> See? It's like, it's some, it's kind of like I knew that would happen. Because <laughs> I did. I did know it would happen. You know, you're gonna use, oh, it didn't use dig in. I swear the deers always use dig in. <laughs> Maybe it's just that rare deer. Maybe this one just sometimes uses dig in and sometimes uses shielded decelerating strike. Come on, what what's happening? It wouldn't go to the next turn. Now you're gonna dig in. Now you're gonna use it. It should still? I don't know. Oh. Oh, it will. It will, actually. Okay, now to the unique. 
which is kind of OP, but at the same time it's low health, so hopefully it doesn't do anything crazy in case it does the prowl or whatever it is. Oh, that actually came very close. But the Tyrannicari says, nope, I'm not having it today. See you next time, weird dog hybrid. And now he's dancing around. Great. I hate it when my turn kind of dances around. And coins! Finally! I have somewhat a good amount of coins. I mean, it's not enough to level up literally anything, but we got coins. Nice. Unique! That's that's cool. I mean, I did do 10 battles for that. Okay, so now we have Team Boss, the achievement, have one Apex creature in your collection. And I did. And I'll just go ahead and collect the Alliance stuff. And we'll just do some past stuff. I've already collected all the past, but, you know, we'll get all the coins and cash. Uh, you know... Why not? We'll just do this one because I know I can do it with just my Indoraptor. I'll show you that. <laughs> it literally does no damage to my Indoraptor and it just my Indoraptor. Come on, click it. I'm clicking it. So for the Monolophosaurus, use this one. The Cleansing Impact. See, it does that thing where it disappears when you defeat it. It's so weird. Now use your Rampage. And for the next one will be a Deinonychus, and you can just use your lowest attack, and boom. You now have 25 <clears throat> stat boosts of uh, speed. I do this every week when I have one. I challenge myself to only use the Indoraptor, even though it's not really a challenge, because I know I can do it. And now, can I stat boost something? Speed. No. Of course not. Okay. Well, I think that will be the end of this video. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button down below. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more dinosaur-related videos. Or the Tyrannokairi will be under your bed, uh, for a month if you don't subscribe. Or, uh, yeah. <laughs>